Forrest Milton Bird was born in Massachusetts in 1921. His father, an engineer by profession, had volunteered as a pilot during the First World War and afterwards returned to his previous life, running a shoe manufacturing company. The Bird family farmstead had a very comprehensive machine shop where Forrest's father taught him the rudimentaries of engineering and they amused themselves building several tractors out of Model T and Model A Fords. Around 1930, Bird Sr. bought an OX5 powered Waco 10 and on his 14th birthday in 1935, Forrest went solo. By the late 1930s, he had a commercial pilot's license and an instrument rating and joined Eastern Airlines, flying the DC-3. When America entered the Second World War, Forrest Bird joined the United States Army Air Corps. He served as an instructor and a ferry pilot and latterly as a technical pilot, writing checklists and pilot's notes. In that capacity, he flew every aircraft type in the Air Corps' inventory, including early helicopters and jets. As an engineer, Bird was used to dealing with systems, and one system that was under constant review was oxygen. Whilst ferrying a captured Junkers 88, Bird noticed that the German oxygen regulator was far superior to the American version. With his engineering expertise, Bird soon made his own regulator, which he tested at high altitude using a borrowed B-17. In the late 1940s, Bird started at medical school and in three years qualified as a doctor. While still serving, Bird formed his own company, the Bird Corporation. In time, Bird developed the world's first portable respirator. The prototype had been made from all manner of items, including a biscuit tin. By the early 1960s, Bird respirators were being sold worldwide. Forrest Bird wanted a versatile aircraft that he could use for transport, a classroom, and sometimes as a hotel. He bought a Catalina. The consolidated XP3Y-1 later to become variously the Catalina, the PBY and the Canso, first flew in 1935. Early versions were pure flying boats, later versions had a retractable tricycle undercarriage and by the end of the Second World War 3,300 had been built. Aircraft designer and engineer Glenn Oudkirk, a friend of Howard Hughes, saw the possibility of turning low-houred war surplus Catalinas into luxury air yachts. Consolidated had renamed themselves Convair, and with them, Oudkirk developed the Land Sea Air. The prototype is seen here on a photo shoot for Life magazine in February 1950. Oudkirk is pouring a drink. Improvements included a well-equipped galley, seating that could be folded out to make beds, rather a lot of soundproofing, and provision under each outer wing panel to sling a bespoke rowing boat. On a more practical note, the flight engineer's position in the pylon was eliminated, with all controls and instrumentation being moved down into the cockpit. The Bird Corporation aircraft was a land-sea air conversion, possibly the last one, but after two engine failures, Forrest Bird gave serious consideration to further modifications. The usual modification on the Catalina to increase power was to replace the R1830 twin WASP engines with a pair of Wright R2600 twin cyclones. This necessitated the larger squared off rudder to help cope with asymmetric loads. Forrest Bird had another idea. McKinnon Enterprises had modified a Grumman Goose, replacing the two WASP Junior engines of 450 horsepower with four Lycoming GSO 380s, each of 340 horsepower. Two conversions had been carried out before McKinnon changed their plans completely, removing the four Lycoming engines and replacing them with a pair of PT6 turboprops. Bird bought two now redundant outer nacelles complete with cowlings and electrically controlled reversible pitch propellers. These nacelles were grafted onto the outer wing panels of the Catalina, along with extra fuel tanks. A squared off Supercat rudder was fitted, and several more engine controls appeared in the already busy cockpit of the Catalina. The aircraft, now known as the Bird Innovator, was certified using a supplemental type certificate. Conversions were available for purchase but none were ever sold. These photographs were taken from a Bird Innovator publicity brochure 
and include some performance figures. Operated by the Bird Corporation until the late 1970s, the Innovator was sold to Pyramid Corporation, who used the aircraft for photography and whale counting along the west coast of the Americas. At the end of the whale counting contract, the aircraft was stored at Titusville in Florida, where an overzealous and possibly dim-witted law enforcement officer decided quite erroneously that the Innovator had been used for drug running and impounded it. In the early 1990s, released from the clutches of the law, the Innovator was sold again, the new owner spending a year rebuilding it before flying it home. Pilot, engineer, physician and inventor, the brilliant Dr. Bird passed away in 2015, aged 94. As of 2024, the Catalina is under restoration at Aurora in Oregon. The Lycoming engines have been removed and it's being restored as a standard land sea air. Thank you for watching.